There was fewer creases that the defense gave up today, but uh, offense is still, they're doing a nice job. They're progressing at, a, at, the, uh, at the rate we need them to so far. You know, we're just four days into it, but so far so good. Well, Joe is still the number one ball carrier, Joe Williams. Uh, Zach Moss has been impressive for freshman. He put the ball on the ground today one time, but I think it was a, not a clean exchange. I don't, don't know if you ever had it while I watched the film. But uh, he's doing a nice job. Troy McCormick was uh, looked his best that he's looked since the injury today. So he's able to take that brace off now. He's playing without the brace, and, and uh, he's really, really back to where, where he was prior. It's still a uh, let's take a look phase. It's not uh, this is a done deal phase, but uh, it's looking good. Every day he's gotten better. Now the snaps were a little rough the other day. We expect him to be. There's going to be some growing pains with that, having never played center. But uh, he made a nice adjustment today to that, worked hard on it. And today was really flawless with the snaps. So, so, so far, to answer your question, we like what we see, but it's not set in stone yet. Garrett is a very talented football player. He's got the, the entire package as far as what you're looking for in an offensive tackle. He's got the height, the length, the feet, the hips. Uh, he's just, he's, he's the real deal. We just got to continue to see how he holds up, and so far he's done a great job. Oh, yeah, Jackson Barton's a, a good player for us and played a lot of snaps for us last year, Sam Tevy. And uh, Garrett, those are the three top guys right now. Uh, if you had to go to a fourth right now, you'd probably pull J.J. away from snapping and back out the tackle, but we'll see who can develop it. Chase Hansen, it's great to have him back out there. He is just about 100%. He's 100% as far as not, no limitations, but he's just still working out the last little bit of soreness and stiffness in the ankle. But uh, other than that, he's, he's doing great. He's a safety, and you know maybe down the road, uh, when we look at some uh, Wildcat quarterback stuff, he might be a candidate for that. But right now, we're not uh, haven't gotten to that yet. We feel like we're going to come away with uh, the right combination up front, and we feel like whichever quarterback wins the job is going to do just fine. We just not like need, none of none of the three are doing the job, and we're, we're you know we're sitting there on pins and needles waiting for someone to, to play up to the level that we need them to play. They're all playing very well. It's just a matter of finding that separation. Well, Sunia certainly is, and David's working his way into it, and Cody Barton is is close as well. Uh, you know, we'll just have to see how things progress. It's only four days in. David's made a lot of progress between day one and now, but he's still got a long ways to go. But Sunia is just like your typical junior college player. The first year, he's kind of trying to figure things out, and the second year, he really flourishes. So that seems to be what's happening with him.